Welcome to another tutorial on the MoFi 5500 routers. Today we're going to take a look at the remote management feature on the MoFi router. So what this does is you will be able to remotely access your router at a limited scale. You will be able to view the signal strength. You will be able to see whether if it is online. You will be able to change your Wi-Fi name, password, check signal strength, that sort of thing. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to set up the remote management. In order to do that, you need to first make sure you're connected to the MoFi router. And then you want to open up your browser. In the address bar, you want to type in the default IP of the MoFi, which is 192.168.10.1. And this will take you to the login page. Type in admin, all in lowercase if you haven't changed it. And we're in. So the next step we want to do is from the list on the left, we want to click on system and then we want to go to remote management. So now uh, this pretty much tells you the instruction on how to set it up. So what we want to do is first we want to click on this button which says sync bandwidth with server before enabling remote. So let's click on that. It takes a few seconds. Once it's back, we want to move on to the next step. So it's asking us to put on a valid recovery email. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you type that in correct. And then you check the box that says enable. That's it for now. So on the bottom right hand corner, you want to click on save. As you can see, there is a field for a username and password. Uh, it is populated as just, you know, none or XXX for the username, and that's fine. It's going to populate with the correct username password in a moment. So right now, as it's done saving it, let's just reload the page or just visit somewhere else and then come back to the router. So, like, we can go to general and then come back to the remote management page. And we should have our username and password populated. Now, the reason that this router already had this remote management feature enabled, so it, has, it had an original password set. So if you try to view this password, it will tell you please use original password. But if this is your first time set up, you will be seeing your password here. Please note down that password because even after you reset the router or you decide to disable the remote management feature, you might need to use your original password anyway. So uh, after you have the password and the username, you will be able to log into the remote management portal. So let's go ahead and do that. You can click on Open Remote Management Dashboard. If you click on it, sometimes your browser might block some pop-up windows. So you want to click on Option. You want to allow the pop-up. And there you go. This is going to bring up to your remote management interface. Now you need to type in the username and the password for this account. So obviously the username is usually the router ID. One thing you want to be careful when you're trying to copy this, make sure you don't add this white space. Make sure you just copy the numbers in the alphabet because uh, this field is white space sensitive. So you don't want to add one space. It will tell you invalid username or password. We want to hit login and this should take us in. And there you go. This is the remote management interface. So now that you're logged in or you know how to log in and you have set up the remote management portal, you don't necessarily have to be connected to this MoFi router. You could have connected to any other network and if this MoFi router is online, you will be able to remotely log into this portal. So you can click on the devices and then this is going to view your device. And here you can see everything about the device, the firmware version that your router is on, the MAC address, the Wi-Fi name, uh, the APN being used, IMEI, and most importantly, you can view if the status is online. And so if you click on show or even if you click on the name, it's going to view the whole thing in details. And here you can see several information. There, this is very handy because you'll be able to change your Wi-Fi name, password remotely, or even um, see how much data you have used up for your upload and download. Um, or if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will be able to reboot or even reset the whole router. 
Now, remember, um, you need to keep in mind that each command might take about 10 minutes to take an effect. It usually takes about two or three minutes, and then you'll see the uh, effect uh, immediately. But again, it uh, might take about 10 minutes uh, maximum for the uh, configuration to be applied. So as of right now, if you want to change something like your Wi-Fi name or your password, uh, you could just click on this pen icon, this edit icon, and then, you know, type in anything uh, for your Wi-Fi name. So say for an example, we could just type in MoFi remote. And then we want to, we, we can just commit it right away. We want to hit Q. And then this is going to be queued here. And then uh, if you commit it, it's going to go to the pending section. And then in about a few seconds, this will go to the stale. So right now, it's about to be applied. Uh, this takes, just like I said, about two minutes. And then you will see uh, this will take effect. Uh, if you are somewhere around there, around that MoFi router, you should see your MoFi Wi-Fi name change to MoFi Remote instead of this one. Similarly, you can do the same thing for your password. Um, and so all of this information are really handy when you are able to access this router remotely. You're not in the location, but you are able to access this and see if your router is online. So the same thing, you can also reboot your router. If you're all the way to the bottom, you can just click and reboot. And then you want to, as you can see, it's in the queued section. You want to commit to it. So you want to commit, but you just don't want to do it right away because it just took one command. So you might want to wait about two minutes. And then you can click and commit, and then you'll see your router rebooting. So this is pretty handy if someone's trying to troubleshoot or do something, and they're not in front of the router. Then this remote management feature, which comes as a free um, on the MoFi router, could be used. Another thing that might come on handy, especially for installers, is if they want to limit the bandwidth for the user. So they can just click on this and change to true, and then again, uh, queue it, and then you can commit it. It's going to go to pending, and then it's going to go to stale. And then you can click on the edit button for the bandwidth allowance and type in whatever your limit cap for the bandwidth is. So there are several other things that you can do. As you can see by now, the change has taken effect and our SSID have changed to MoFi Remote instead of MoFi Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. So this is how you do the remote management. Uh, the possibilities are endless. We're trying to add feature and improve this way more. Hopefully this helped you understand the remote management thing. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.